and Senate Bill 846 requiring hospital publish notification prior to facility closure regarding patient medical records. Meet House of Delegates Reader Joe Koval. During floor sessions in chambers, it looks like House Clerk Steve Harrison, Senate Clerk Lee Cassis, and their staff members simply read the bills and take notes. But that's just the tip of a voluminous workload iceberg. Our main duties during session are processing the bills and doing the daily journal, keeping the paperwork working, uh, keeping the paperwork moving, and there is a lot of it. Cassis says his veteran team keeps all the records, handles information technology, are the facility and personnel managers. And forget Publishers Clearinghouse, both teams publish volumes of records and materials on an annual and daily basis. There's thousands of records that have to be ready and prepared for the next day, so they're here a long time. They, um, they do it without the cameras on them. They're working behind the scenes and make everybody around here look good. Assistant Senate Clerk Kristen Canterbury has more than two decades of experience here. Canterbury says the volume of bills has never been higher, but the advance in technology means staffers don't have to stay until 3.30 in the morning and be back at 7 a.m. anymore. Over the years, the workflow has improved to the point where it's rare that that I'm not leaving at least by midnight, which is a huge improvement. <laughs> Steve Harrison, a former high school, college, and semi-pro football player, knows his X's and O's and compares his clerk team to the O's, as in a string of tough offensive linemen. So unfortunately, usually if they're noticed, it's because of something that went wrong. You know, just like a, an offensive lineman, you don't generally get noticed unless you uh, have a penalty or miss a block or something. For many decades, before Lee Cassis became Senate clerk, former senators of the majority party were chosen to man the clerk office helm. But in 2018, by unanimous vote, Lee Cassis was elected clerk, a nonpartisan, richly experienced staffer. Most of the members here knew me from that, and they, and they knew they could trust me, that I was here to do the job, and no political funny business out of me, nor the staff in the clerk's office. So. First be referred to the Committee on Finance, respectfully submitted Chandler Swope, Chair. Cassis says a colleague's illness forced him into clerk reading. Several years of reading later, he still remembers some sound advice. His tips were never eat peanut butter or chocolate before you go out there, because it'll choke you up. And if you don't know a word, just mumble over it and keep going. Your Committee on Health and Human Resources has had into consideration Senate Bill 830. No mumbling from House Reader Joe Koval, who started in the House of Delegates back in 1981 as the IT guy who helped commandeer the then new voting and sound systems. At that time, there was nobody here who was technical enough to look after that equipment, so I volunteered to do that during the sessions. Our Committee on Education has had under consideration Senate Bill 723 requiring Department of Education develop plans. Vietnam veteran Colva began reading for the House in 1995, a natural for a language major with a BA in Spanish, a minor in French, and a love of articulation at 25 years and counting. I would like to be the reader in the cigar factory because I like to read to people. I like to read to my kids, which I did. And, and, for, and you do it so much, pretty soon the words go from your eye to your mouth. There's no intervention by the brain. You know, it's just like that. Occasionally you have to use your brain for difficult things, but when you do that so long, it's just in and out, in and out, in and out. After the 60-day session, no, they don't go to the Bahamas for the next 10 months. There are hundreds of bills to process and get to the governor, and all those journals and publications to print. That generally takes us the rest of the year. Then it's time to start again when a new session begins. I'm Randy Yoey for the Legislature Today.